Let's now look at iterate and it is the same thing as continue. So if we have a block of code as we see here, where we have the variable heads declared as a Boolean, and then we have another variable heads count, heads underscore count declared as int 64 and set to a default value of zero. Then if we uh, create a loop, uh, as we see here, where we have loop and end loop down here and with the bit inside of that, we have this block. Now inside this block, we set the value of heads to either true or false based on if uh, the condition is satisfied. So we create a random number here, a uh, rand n, a rand open close parenthesis. And if that value is less than 0 0.5, then heads is true. If that value is greater than 0 0.5, then the heads is set to false. Now, if heads is true, then it will enter this if block and it will uh, show it, this select statement will get executed and the head counts is incremented by one. And if that's the case, uh, we would then, it would then run this continue or iterate uh, statement. What that will do, it will bring the run directly to start of the loop. And so the remaining statement, which is select tails, that won't get executed. And this will uh, continue as we uh, go through this loop. And if the heads is not, uh, if heads is false, then what will happen? It will end the loop. It will say select tails. It will break out of the loop and the loop will end. And so finally, what we have after the end of the loop is we uh, take the heads count and concatenate it with this particular string and say these many heads in a row. Uh, and that will should be shown in the output uh, when this select statement is run on line 23. When we let's try to run this and see what output we get. So here we are running this particular block of code and as you can see we first run the first time the select heads is run i'm guessing here we get a rand uh, the value of heads is going to be true so the rand will have some value right a random value that is less than 0 0.5 and so we have this f block being executed and after that runs uh the head counts is incremented by one and so we should get uh if we look in the output for the last select statement that's run we should see a value of one so we have one heads in a row and likewise if we run the same uh, query again and let's run this time with iterate because they are one and the same thing so when we run this we again would see a random number picked here and again in this time there was no heads and so in the very first instance this probably this value was greater than 0 0.5 and so this if block that we see never got executed and therefore the this select statement ran and uh, it encountered a break after that was run now let's run this one last time and i'm say thinking if we can get more than two heads so no again the same thing we just get one heads, uh, sorry, uh, say we get tail and we do not get any heads. So, yep, so we are getting the same uh, output here. Uh, let's run, this is kind of strange that we are not getting any heads. So let's try and run this one more time. And this time, let's see what we get. Yep. So we get one heads in this particular case. So that's how the continue or iterate works what it does is it uh, when that particular statement is encountered it returns to the start of the loop and then the loop becomes all over again the statements after that particular continue or iterate are ignored in that particular loop uh, that was it for this video i hope you got the intuition for how continue iterate work please like share and subscribe Thank you.